Hello, it's been a while. I have just filmed this entire video, but I hit the camera over there. And because the light's like shit, I was like, no, I just look like a troll. So I'm filming it again. So everything that I'm about to say, I have just said. Um, <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can condense it down and not talk complete and utter shit. Um, how are you all doing? It's been a while, no excuses, except I do have excuses, but you know, um, everything is changing at the moment. Um, I spent the last few weeks, like appointment after appointment after appointment with ED. Um, she's having a few investigations done. You know, it's good that we've got the support, but it's also worrying. You want to come up here again, don't you? Okay. Um, she's got, say hiya. <laughs> You're so cool. She's got a massive speech delay, bless her. She's really struggling. Yeah. yeah mama um so she's been investigated by neurology audiology physiotherapy that's for like her mobility as well because she's got high mobility uh, um the pediatrician <laughs> it's just all going on um she's awaiting oh is that your pouty face can you be a scary monster <gasps> <Ooh. sighs> um she's awaiting an mri because they want to do an mri on her brain um, to make sure that there's nothing neurologically going on because they um, found a few things on her neuro neuro uh, neurology examination um, that they want to investigate. So that's happening. Um, and it's just hardcore going. Like last week I had an appointment, a physical appointment, and then somebody phoned and it was the paediatrician and had an appointment with him. I wasn't expecting that, so I had to go through everything. So that was the second time that day I had to go through everything. Hung up the phone and the phone rang again and it was physiotherapy, so I had to go through everything again. And it's good we're getting the support, but it's just, it's draining. I have to remember everything that they tell me. I have to answer the questions properly and articulately. Artic yeah, articulately. Um, I have to remember everything they say to me. Remember to tell them everything that, I need to say it's just it's a lot um so I've been dealing with all of that um I've been dealing with a lot of physical stuff with me as well like the pain that I'm in is just uh excuse me excuse me your mama yeah um the pain that I'm in is just horrific uh my back has been really bad yeah so my back has been just awful there are times when i can't move let alone stand um it's my lower back and we know kind of she wants to show you those there you go we know some things that are wrong but the pain that i'm in doesn't add up to what it is so i need some more investigation investigations yeah so i was up all night crying last night which is great um, I've got a physiotherapy appointment today for ED, so I need to be on form, and I was up all night crying. Um, I just, there's a lot of reasons why, but mainly like loneliness and just feeling alone. And I was thinking about like, um, I, need some cream. I was thinking about like, I like analogies. I feel like I don't get my words across right, whereas analogies is, some it's a way of making people understand even if they have absolutely no idea what you're talking about and the analogy that i was thinking of last night about how i felt is like imagine your like big circle big circle full of doors and you're knocking on every door and asking to come in and everyone's just either not opening the door or slamming the door in your face or calling you a bastard and then slamming it on the face or letting you in a little bit and then pushing you out the door and it's like that door after door after door after door after door um and that is what my life feels like at the moment i feel very alone very um very alone basically um i'm in a place where i want a relationship um but meeting people is impossible um not only what is it? Papa. Yeah, that's Elsa, isn't it? That's your swimsuit. You want to show your swimsuit? Um, that, that's packed for holiday, darling. Um, it's not only the fact that it's impossible, but I, I did meet someone. I mentioned in a previous video, I met someone. I, I really liked him. We'd been talking. Uh, we met online. We'd been talking for about five or six weeks, like texting and stuff. Um, 
and he came over. We had like a date at my house. Um, nobody knows this. Like, well, a few people know this, but it's not something that I can talk about openly. But one thing led to another and I ended up pregnant. Um, we did all the right things. Two methods of contraception failed. Um, and I ended up pregnant. And I'm not pregnant now. Um, shit happens. That's your nappies, baby. It's been oh, just really rough. Um, physically, um, emotionally and mentally just really rough. I mean, he didn't want anything to do with me. We slept together and then he fucked off because apparently I'm a horrific judge of character. Um, and that's been like, not so much the pregnancy stuff, but him treating me that way has been a large part of why I just feel so worthless and hopeless. Um, Cause you know, I didn't, ex I wasn't expecting a long-term relationship out of it. He was, we have very different lifestyles. Um, but you know, he was talking to me about doing some stuff this summer and having some fun and I was like, yeah, that sounds amazing. I just need that. Um, and then he just disappeared. So, you know, this shit happens. Um, it happens, it happened and I just have to try and move on. Um, but yeah, I want to date. I want, eventually I want a relationship. Um, I want to build my life so that maybe one of the doors I might be able to go into. Um, yeah. Um, Edie starts nursery tomorrow. She'll be going three mornings a week. Um, although we're going away uh, next week on holiday, we're going down to Cornwall, uh, Devon and Cornwall. Um, and yeah, so then she'll start probably the week after. So you've got your nursery tomorrow and then nursery the next day. Two. Yeah, two. Um, it means that I can start going to the gym again, which is really good because I've, I've missed being there so much. Like uh, for me, it sounds mental, but it's my happy place and it's my safe place. Uh, I've been going there since Edie was eight weeks old. Um, so they know her at the crash. People know her. Um, it's somewhere that, you know, when my relationship was falling apart and I was going through so much shit with him, um, as in Edie's dad. You know, it's somewhere where I could just escape that. Yeah, the gym is my happy place. And it's, you know, because I can go when Edie's at, at nursery now, it means that I can take my time. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to going back. Really, really, really looking forward to going back. So yeah, um, I'm also really looking forward to starting to be able to write music and stuff again. Um, not write music, but because most of it's already written, it's just putting it all together. Um, I started having a little look last night and I started kind of, I've never done this before. The way that I write music is I tend to write lyrics and then I have, I either have a rough idea of how I want it to sound or I have no idea how I want it to sound. And then I kind of have a chord structure and then I build it up from there. Um, but this, it was a little piano piece that I wrote. It was a, my very early relationship with my ex. Um, so like four, four years ago, I guess. Four or five years ago, maybe. And it's just like a little piano piece and it's really weird. And when I wrote my album, um, I wrote an album and recorded an album, if you didn't know, and released an album. Um, I read, there's one of the songs in there called Smoke and Mirrors, which I loved. And what I wrote was really cool. The idea I had for it was really cool. And it's all about, it's about dysmorphia, I guess. Um, and I really wanted it to be like a creepy circus song, which sounds weird, but like, you know, kind of that creepy old style circus music. That's what I wanted. And it would, it fit in with the themes of the song because of like, those weird wavy mirrors at the circus and all of that and it i had this amazing idea but it didn't happen because my producer didn't like my idea but i always had this idea in my head that i really liked it and i wrote this little creepy piano part um 
all those years ago and I've kept it. I think I was gonna write a song with my ex because he's a musician. I think we were gonna write something together, but I think when, when he said that he was high, so um, nothing ever came of it. It was like four bars, I think, four or eight bars. So it's only tiny. Um, and I opened it up yesterday and I just started singing over it, which is something that I've never done before. And I just started singing words over it and I came up with like a, a verse and a chorus. Um, and it's really cool. I'm really proud of it. But that is partly what triggered off my crying on hope because I wanted to share how proud I was of something, but I know that my, my family don't give a shit. They're, they don't give a shit about my music. Won't go into it, but they don't give a shit. And I just, I wanted to share it with someone. I was like, I have no one to share it with. Yeah, right. Anyway, I need to get dressed because we have, I'm going to have a phone call from the physiotherapist because she has to go through a COVID um, questionnaire, like make sure no one in the house has been ill, which we haven't. And then go for the appointment. So yeah, we're going to physiotherapy aren't we and then after that we're going to see well we'll be coming home and stuff we're going to go and see my niece because it's her second birthday today is it rosie's birthday today mm. yeah we need to get you dressed squidge um so yeah now that i have more time with edie going to nursery i will be um able to do more videos i know i've said this like loads the last few months but um you know as i've explained today i've been dealing with stuff that I wasn't expecting to be dealing with and you know it's been it's been rough um so I hope you can understand why I've not been as talkative and by the way what I, what I told you as I, I think I said nobody knows um a few people know I think three people know in my life but so yeah you can expect more videos from me but I do want to focus on the music so I can do little videos but I'm gonna have a lot of time, so I may be able to do both, who knows? I'm not making any promises. Um, so yeah, I am going to love you and leave you now. <laughs> oh my God. Dexter, come here. Who's this, Dexter? Who's this? Who's this? No, no. Right, I will speak to you all later. Bye.